Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Chico here, and today Hello, we're doing my a reaction video to a video that has been requested to me uh, for the longest time. And there are a lot of messages actually I've been receiving every day, and uh, in as much as I would love to read all the messages and all the comments, there are just uh, some messages that uh, are on the A man by the name of Michael Hart, he said, and who was Michael Hart? Michael Hart was a contemporary historian and mathematician, and he gathered other historians and biographers together. And they said, let us compile a list of the hundred most profound human beings in history. And to make a long story short, they made a category. They set up 32 different categories by which to compare and produce these hundred most great profound human beings. And let me tell you what Michael Hart said he said that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He placed him at the head of his list And those with him could not dispute it because categorically He earned that position And Michael Hart said I would have chosen, I would have liked to choose Jesus Christ Because I'm a Christian but there were several categories that honestly I could not choose him because Jesus Christ was not a father Muhammad he was Jesus Christ was not a husband Muhammad he was Jesus Christ was not a statesman Muhammad he was Jesus Christ was not a warrior Muhammad he was and Jesus Christ was not a ruler Muhammad he was. And so Michael Hart and his other collaborators, they said, the greatest human being that has impacted history and all annals of documented history, it had to be Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that statement you will find, you will find it in the archives of the Time magazine of the New York Times, the magazine they put out, it's in their archives, you can read it. And in some of the bookstores here in Australia, other places, or you can go on the website and put in Michael Hart, and you will get a website, put it into Google, and you'll get it, and you'll see the evidence there. But let me read to you what some others have said about Muhammad, the man and his message. George Bernard Shaw said, if a man like Muhammad, Wasallam, were to assume the dictatorship and rulership of the modern world, he would succeed in solving its problems that would bring it much needed peace and happiness. Michael Hart said, my choice is Muhammad to lead the list of the world's most influential persons may surprise some readers and may be questioned by others but he was the only man in history who was supremely successful on both the religious and secular levels. And Castles Weekly said, in little more than a year, he was actually the spiritual, nominal, and temporal ruler of Medina with his hands on the lever that was to shake the world. Billions of Muslims all over the world throughout the last 1400 years have accepted the religious teachings of Muhammad وسلم, and illiterate often brought up in the harsh desert climate of Arabia transformed 
a backward society into a great civilization. He was the only leader who realized his vision in his own life. He was born in Mecca as an orphan. He was raised in Mecca. He was driven out of Mecca. He was punished, had to flee. He was persecuted. His followers were killed. But Allah allowed him to come back 23 years later as a victor, as a conqueror. And when he came back, he gave everyone amnesty. He realized his vision. And after that, the Prophet ﷺ spread his message. He spread Islam throughout the peninsula of Arabia so that Islam became established as a state, as a government. He was the ruler but he was still eating and drinking and dressing the same way that he was doing as he was born and as he grew up. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He was just and he was fair. He didn't give to his family. He didn't distribute to his friends. He didn't make judgment for those who he liked and made judgments against those he didn't like like the kings, like the presidents, like the chairmen, like the rich people, like the judges of today, and like those who have done it throughout history. This was a man in this world, but always thinking about the hereafter. Because Allah sent to him the ayah, Al Akhiratu Khairun wa Abqa. The Akhirah is better for you and for everyone else than what is present. His message was to call humanity to the worshipping of the Creator and to destroy all kinds of injustice in the earth and to establish a character, a paradigm of human conduct for the human beings to follow. If one reads the Quran, you will see on every page that message comes through on every single page. This is what sets Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, from any other ruler, any other prophet, messenger, individual. The Prophet wasallam never in his life did he ever lift his hand to hit any human being, ever. Not a servant. Not a wife, not a child, not a friend, nor an enemy, except when that enemy was opposing Allah and opposing the message. And when the companions of the Prophet used to look for him on the battlefield, they said, Wallahi, we found him in the middle of the enemies, fighting. And they said, we used to seek the protection of his person. We used to hide behind the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the battlefield. He was such a warrior and statesman on the battlefield, commanding and fighting for the way of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. But once he was off the battlefield, his eyes were downcast and he was speaking softly and he was gentle and he was warm and he was sacred and soft and caring and crying. The Prophet ﷺ was also during the course of that day feeding the poor, visiting the sick, discharging the army, acting as a statesman, acting as an arbiter, talking to the people, addressing the women, giving out the zakat, sewing his clothes, washing his house, shopping for the food, doing all the things that you and I do, and at night standing in prayer for four or five hours at a time. And in the day, fighting the battles, discharging the armies, giving the ahkam and the rulings, 
explaining the Quran, instructing the people in behavior. How could a man do all of that and stand four or five hours at night at one time? What kind of human being could that be? It was a messenger. It was a prophet. This was a man with a message. Oh, Muslims and non-Muslims. Muhammad, according to the Quran, he was a witness over the believers. He was no more than a messenger. He was a man dealing gently with all people. He was a great favor. He was sent with an irrefutable truth. He was that unlettered prophet. He was a mercy and a messenger. He was a mercy to mankind. He was a witness over the believers and the believers a witness over mankind. He was a mercy to the world. He was the best example to follow. He was the last prophet of mankind. He was sent to all the mankind and the jinn. He was victorious over all systems and he was created on an exalted standard. Oh, Muslims and non-Muslims, there's not a person in the whole of history that can compare with Muhammad wasalam. Not a Confucius, not Guantama Buddha, not Alexander the Great, not Bonaparte Napoleon, not Julius Caesar, nor Constantine, not Mahatma, not Mahatma Gandhi, not King Richard or King Ferdinand, not Winston Churchill, not Charles Darwin, nor Deng Xiaoping, nor Karl Marx, not Albert Einstein, not Martin Luther or Martin Luther King Jr., not George Washington, not John F. Kennedy, and certainly not Bill Clinton, not Tony Blair, nor John Howard, nor George Bush Sr. or George Bush Jr. Not you, not me, not our parents, nor our grandparents, nor any of our ancestors can match this man Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. To the non-Muslims, I say to you, go home and read about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tonight. If you dare, if you're not afraid of change, because if you read about Muhammad وسلم, with an open heart and an open mind, there's a chance that love for this man and respect for this man will come into your life, come into your heart, come into your mind, come into your family and your home. And you also may want to be a follower of Muhammad. And if you should choose to do so, you will never elevate his name. You will never increase any blessings to his ummah, but you will benefit your own selves. And so we invite you to embrace, to understand, to respect that man Muhammad and his a powerful speech about um, the Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. There are a lot of uh, great information about this great man and I am stunned to know that um, he is all that. The example that is given to all mankind is incomparable and it's difficult to follow. Oh, I am not an expert in this topic so I don't think I have the authority to talk about it but um, basing from what I've seen in this video Prophet Muhammad may peace be upon him is never judgmental that's what I liked about this video and uh, that's one thing that I have learned from uh, listening and watching to this video we as human beings we tend to be judgmental with the um, high technology and all that social media we tend to judge people we tend to judge people just by mere looking at their pictures just by mere listening to them even if you don't know them we still find the time to judge them 
and by judging them we tend to be angry at times and we tend to be insensitive at times so that's why unintentionally maybe we tend to hurt the person and it is not an example that Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, had taught the world. In my case, I know that I still have a lot of things to learn from this uh, great man. And um, I am open. I am actually open to learning more. I am actually open to uh, discovering more about him. That's why you guys are there. You're going to feed me some information. You guys are there. You're going to educate me. You guys are there. You're going to influence me. And I am so grateful for all those information that you have given me. And thank you for the effort in just my mere time and uh, saying great things about um, your experiences, um, the life that you lead, the uh, faith that you have, the things that you just want to share. Thank you so much for sharing it uh, with me and to the rest of the people that has been with me throughout this journey. And I really, really appreciate that. And I just love this video. There are a lot of beautiful information about this. I'll be posting the original link of the uh, video at the description description box down below so if you want to watch this video in uh, its whole entirety uh, you can click to that original link at the description box down below okay so well what did you think about this video guys please feel free to comment down below I know you have a lot of things to say so please feel free to paste those uh, beautiful comments at the comments box section uh, do you have any other information to add um, I'm always willing to listen and as much as I can I'm trying to read all your comments and if you like this reaction video please give me a thumbs up and if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe hit that bell notification so that you'll get notified by all the videos that i upload and if you have other videos um interesting videos such as this or any other videos that you want me to do a reaction video to please paste the link down below as well i will see you guys in my next video spread love and not hate everyone love one another Bye. Wow. Oh. Uh. <sighs> I'm really, I'm really thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. First of all, I I'm going to. First of all, I do respect only by watching this video. I already respect what Muhammad was because, like, being. In the top 100, only being in the top 100 are the most profound individuals in the world, in the history. For me, it's enough to be, to be, to gain my respect, you know. But being the first one, and also doing what he did, being not only a leader in a religious way, being a, a leader in somehow a political way, somehow a military way, somehow a social way, somehow in everything way he was a leader, you know. He was. In a certain way, I would say he was a, a strategic man, you know, but like how to send his message, how to fight in the battlefield, you know, like, first of all, well, now I understand that he fight with the ones I guess were supposed uh, opposing against um, align this message. I would like to know to tell me in the comments because I don't want to make any disrespectful comment that explain me better, like. What was considered to be against uh, the message? What was considered to be against a lie? You know, like I would like to to know that. To not, do not say any comment that is not appropriate. Um, also, I would like to know um, how how he how how was those battlefields? You know, he was like in the front killing people, or you know, I I don't want to sound it like bad, you know, but I would like to know, you know, he was in the front killing the uh, the only armies he were against. Or what was happening, what type of battlefield was, you know, like, he was gaining territory, the purpose was to do not lose the territory, what was the purpose of those battlefields, of those battles, you know? But even after that, after having his message, after having the first, more important person in the history, after all that, after never hit anyone, at, at, at least in the case that was in favor of the message, his message and, and Allah, after all that, after also after being so humble man, that part really amazed me of that man you know how he can be so humble after being so a military after fighting after all that he was able to dress in the women to speaking to the people to be so humble to do all the things that the normal people do you know 
he wasn't normal and he do all the things that the normal people like us do you know it's like well uh, sorry i don't want to sound respectful saying normal but of course he wasn't nobody can do what he what he did you know nobody can be the first of the 100 most important people in the history you know he wasn't normal he was he was amazing you know he was incredible and imagine after in the battlefield and after battling and commanding in the battlefield then after shopping then after making the strategies for the next day then after treating his people then after taking the food they're actually making a lot of things that need to be done but so uh, spiritual and in a certain way political leader that he was for for this the Islam government or Islam state I think it's a state for all the important people that he was all the important things that he was doing imagine also making to four to five hours of praying standing to Allah you know like um um I I can't even um see myself praying for more than 10 minutes uh, of course it's my opinion I I'm not I don't think I'm able to pray for more than 10 minutes you know because first of all I don't know enough enough recites or enough uh, text to, to pr for pray but I will know if I, I I think I can't have it enough um in my case will be patience you know because I don't really um, believe it until now I don't really believe it but imagine so be so encouraged so devote to Allah and so um convincing his message that you can easily go four to five hours standing praying devoting to him thanking to him for all he says he's doing for you like if of course i i think like that what he what he did was the best he could do in order to devote to allah because if allah gave it so big opportunity to be his messenger to be his prophet at least i think that was the best thing he could do spread his message praying for him all the time like he's uh, he's a role model, he's an... I, I don't know if to say an idol, I don't know if the word will be correctly used, but he's a role model, everything should have... everyone should follow his step in the way of, like, not, you know, like, go making a state or, or, um, or you know, ruling the world, ruling the, the, the Islam state, but all the people should try at least to follow his step in the way of how to become a leader, or how to gain the respect of people, how to treat people, you know, how to be social adequate in a certain way, you know, it's like how to do not give up because I think it was a lot of effort he needed to put to make Islam in the state what he what it was until that time and to become a a prophet that see his vision, you know, it's like wow. Um I hope you like it. Um again I'm going to read Today, right now is the day, so later I'm going to read in the night some things about Muhammad. Please send me in the comments some other textbooks you want me to read. Or send me more videos you want me to react to because I really like to watch these videos because I feel, I feel like I'm learning a lot of new things. And I really want to understand this religion, so thank you guys. Give it a like, subscribe, to, subscribe in the subscribe button. That was very beautifully said, everything that this man said about Muhammad, peace be upon him, was really true. He was someone who would cry for us and fight for us and he was always worshipping and praying to Allah and he was someone that we all should follow. And he is someone who has all these people who follow him, who have him as an example of how they want to be. Of course, we cannot compare ourselves to Muhammad, peace be upon him, like he was like the greatest man of history, just like the title says. So, of course, we cannot compare ourselves to Muhammad, peace be upon him, but we should all respect him and try our best to have him as our example and try our best to be like him because he really was the greatest man he was the messenger of Allah just like other messengers of Allah there are many but he was the last messenger of Allah and he was someone who would 
spread Islam, he would spread the message of Islam. People who truly know who Muhammad is and what he was about, of course, all they can do is just love him and respect him. If you really know what Muhammad was about and what he did. So I'm just gonna read a few comments. One commented, no Twitter, no Instagram, no Facebook, but over 2 billion followers. That is our prophet Muhammad. Another one commented, the greatest man to walk the earth, the greatest prophet God has created. He is Muhammad. Another one commented, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the leader of world. So I really enjoyed this video, I really liked this video and I agree with everything that this man had to say about Muhammad, peace be upon him. And I also, I encourage people to learn about him, learn about who he was, what he did for us instead of just listening to negative things that other people have to say because I know a lot of people they spread lies and they spread all negative things about him and it is very bad and it is not a good thing to do instead what you should do is learn about him I'm just gonna end this video right now thank you all for watching this video Remember to like and subscribe for more videos and then I'll see you in my next video inshallah. Salam alaikum. Guys, I'm already having goosebumps already. Guys, this video is over. One minute. Thank you. I'm kind of short. Prophet Muhammad is really a great man and trust me tonight I'm going to read about him for changes and I've already started loving the man already he's really a great man wow wow such man of great power messenger a conqueror also wow my mind is being long. <laughs> Guys, that's it on this video. Prophet Muhammad, the greatest man in history. I really love the video. I really love it so much. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching to the end with me. Thank you for staying. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Guys, I'll see you in my next video. Shout out to Sharif Hawk for sending me this video. Um, if you want to send me a video, um, you can leave it in the comment section below. And I'm also going to put up a poll today, inshallah. So stay on the lookout for that. And wow, you see Mah Prophet Muhammad, he had a lot of challenges in his life, but he still exceeded. He still succeeded through all of his challenges. He worked hard and um, he, he was a good family man. He was a good citizen and he helped all the people he could in his community. He also spread the word of Islam. And um, I realize uh, he's he's actually my role model. He's my uh, number one role model. That's who I want to be like, inshallah. It's, um, but you know, he's the last and final message messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We should all aspire to take character traits from him and, and include him in our lives, so we can be better, well-rounded Muslims. May Allah make it easy for all of us. May He keep us on the right path. May He please keep us steadfast on His Deen. May He please um, make sure to keep Shaitan away from us. May He please guide us on the right path. May He please grant us everything that we want in this dunya, and also may He please grant us. Uh, paradise. So if you made it this far in this video, I love you so much for the sake of Allah. Wow, that's the end. That's the end. Honestly, honestly, I'm really amazed by this video. Anything someone will say about the Prophet, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you will just said only a little. Prophet Muhammad is beyond our imagination. It's really beyond our imagination. Nobody in this world can match Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. None, none. He is the greatest man ever. He is the greatest man ever.
really greatest man ever ya rasulullah allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala muhammad is a really a good sample really kind a lot you can never finish talking about prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam because he's really greatest man ever existed in this world you can go and check make research about you can make go and make more research about prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam please if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on your bell notification so that you will be well notified anytime we have a new upload shout out to rational believers yeah this video is from their channel yeah thanks to them please if you are new here don't forget to subscribe it's fully of charge please wow that was a really good uh, video i like that a lot shout out to rational believer he always has some really good videos i have it. the video will be linked down below but yeah guys that's been the video hope you guys did enjoy this one it says no twitter no instagram no facebook but over 2 million over 2 billion followers that is our prophet muhammad blah 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 but yeah guys that's in the video hope you guys did enjoy if you did like subscribe comment down below and that's been it peace thank you uh, irshad uh, for sharing that with me it was really interesting and uh, very informative video i increase uh, my knowledge about uh, him uh, so many information starting uh, from where he was born uh, life rules uh, his message explanation why he's the greatest person who ever lived in this world, the greatest person in history, why people should respect him. The video uh, definitely help uh, understand uh, more about Islam and help understand why he is so important for Muslim. Uh, thank you again for this recommendation. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!